What's up YouTube, it's Vinny here. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, just want to show you the updated mods on my car that I've done since uh, you know Christmas past and everything. I didn't make a video, so I'm going to walk over. It's a little dark out, but it's the reason. Uh, I want to make this video now. So right now, these are my lights on my car. They are uh, HIDs. And they're 8Ks. They're from DDM Tuning. Um, they don't look as blue, you know, as I thought, but now that I think about it, if I was to get the color that I wanted, I wanted a little more deeper blue, like, you know, like more color of the blue in it, but you won't even, you won't even be able to see on the road. These are really bright. Um, I definitely recommend getting these. They're from DDM Tuning. They were like 30, I think they were like 30 bucks plus like shipping or something, but they came very quick. I got them in my fogs. And in my, um, you know, my low beams. I didn't do the high beams, but uh, I, I might do that later. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm just going to walk around the back. I didn't do anything to the back. But uh, my third brake light, you guys can't even see it, but um, it's been out. So I'm going to do the mod that makes it a little bit bigger. Like it's a little longer, a little wider and everything uh, than the normal brake light. But uh, I have the front and back dome lights, both blue. I've already had that. As you guys already saw in my other video, um, the cubby light take that out, is blue. I just have this shitty ass charger. It's blue, whatever. And then this is the normal orange that everything used to be in my dash. And I redid the whole dash customly. Uh, I didn't order a kit or anything. And there was no resistors. You had to switch for blue or red. Um, all you really have to do is go on eBay. I can, if you guys message me and you're wondering what LEDs I got, I can link them. The I can link the description or message it to you, whatever. So I basically did on the right. That, that's red. Might be. It looks kind of bright, but uh. So that both of these, everything on the bottom is red here. So if I s switch through it, they're all red from L from like first gear, second, third, fourth. And then neutral, uh, reverse, and park. And the check engine light's red. That That's all red. It just kind of looks uh, orangey in the video because it's bright. Um, that's all red on the side, you know, because it's your higher RPMs. The needles are all still like that orange weird color, but it kind of looks cool with the blue, so I'm just going to leave it. I don't feel like dyeing them or whatever the hell you have to do. Um, you know, the screen... Um, where my miles is blue and all the other lights on this bottom right here are red and then all the gauges or everything are blue so it's pretty cool and then my blinkers I did white I thought that was really cool so you know it's gonna look like that start it up um, I didn't switch out the radio you, you can see closely the radio that's the kind of orange-ish in the buttons I'm not gonna switch all that I'm just probably gonna get a new radio eventually um, but you know that lights up blue lights up blue so everything in my car is blue right now except for this because I have I have the resistors I had ordered them on um, LED mods I think or something like that ledmods.com uh, I just ordered the resistors set, so like all all it, gives, all it does is give you this the the right resistors because I'm changing this to blue. You do need resistors if you're gonna make your HVAC unit blue. You don't need resistors if you're making your dash blue. I I mean people say you can or, or you should switch them out. The only thing that it's gonna do is if you switch resistors out for your dash, it's gonna make it a little bit brighter, but. I mean, honestly, I think that's plenty bright considering, I mean, like, I didn't have to switch anything out. So, I mean, this this is, I mean, that's as bright as it gets, and you can dim it, you know, you can do your little dim. I think that's way blue. Any bluer, uh, it would be very weird and, like, blurry. <clears throat> Plus, your blinkers are already bright as shit, and all the red would be, everything would be changed if you touch resistors on that, so don't touch resistors for the dash if you do blow anyways um moving on i'm just gonna put my flash on um i didn't paint my rear calibers as i showed you in the other video this is the blue i did let me shut the engine off that's the blue i did uh the first time one sec all right so annoying all right 
sorry, that's this is the blue I did in the caliber on the front. Um, and I, I didn't like it. It came out a little dark in this video. It looks pretty cool, but no, it's really kind of like darkish. It almost looks kind of like purple in person. Um, so it came to the back, and I painted them this. I'm, I'm going to repaint the front ones. I just haven't gotten there yet. And I wanted to compare the color. Um, this, this kind is, I think it's dupa color. Uh, it's something for the engine block. It's like 500 degrees. This is, this stuff works great. It's the same thing as the caliber paint, except the caliber paint can go to a higher heat, like 900 degrees. It doesn't matter if you guys want to find one of those colors, because there's more cool colors that you can paint in your engine blocks. Well, you know, like that, that it comes in like that. So I did that blue, same with the right rear and then I just did this I don't know I just went to the Poconos it's dirty but I don't know I thought it would be cool kind of have something else blue I don't know I might unpaint it I, I don't really care right now I just you know I just thought I'd do it it's like a, one screw it's like I don't know if you guys can see it. it's like under there you might be able to see it I'm not sure but it's one screw to get it out um so I just kind of took that and did that but yeah so that's all the new stuff I've done in my car is just the dash which is right there and my HIDs um, next you know is the HVAC as I said um, I just want to get in my hood real quick and show you what uh, it looks like how to mount your uh, HIDs and everything alrighty so we're gonna come over here it's gonna be very hard to see but um, yeah, okay, basically this is your ballast, and I mounted it, everyone's going to probably do this differently, it doesn't matter as long as it's secured, um, I mounted it to this hole, hold on, and, um, I mounted it, yeah, to these two holes, there's one here, there's one there, go away, yeah, go away, and, uh, there's these, where is it, it plugs in a little lower, and yeah, I don't know, I'm just trying to show you guys how I mounted it, so it's just basically through these two holes, and there's holes in the baluster right there, and another one, it's like right, yeah, right here, and then for the other side, it's a little different, uh, that kind of looks blue now in the video, I don't know. They're more, they're more white. They don't look that blue. Like, there you go. Yeah. See, from a farther, yeah. I guess if you get close, it kind of looks blue. I don't know. Um. But yeah. And then so, here, focus it. All right. There's a hole right on here on the ballast. I mounted it to this hole. And let's focus to this hole. And it's in the center. Now, don't worry about, like, your stuff. It's not going to be perfectly packed in your car when you, like, kind of load it up. Like, when, I mean, when you, like, put everything in. Just make sure when you put washer fluid in that it doesn't go all, all over your ballast and shit. And, um, last thing. Um, if you guys are trying to get blue, um, headlights or fog lights or whatever, 8K is more of, like, a tiny, tiny bit of blue. Like, very tiny bit. It's not as blue as you guys might think it is. If you're looking to really get blue, like I guess if you have like a, I don't know, show car or some shit and or whatever the fuck you want to do, um, that you're going to want to get like a 10K HIDs. But yeah, so for now, this will work. It looks good. Uh, it took me about like three hours to solder. You have to solder all of them and everything kind of in the ass, but whatever. So I'm going to change this next. Oh, here and my HVAC unit, and that's about it. So, uh, keep you guys updated with my car and everything. Uh, have a good one.